Hey, PBR51 here. I'm gonna run and show you my new engine. Uh, but first I'm gonna show you some features. So, here's the tachometer. I have it set up, and it's geared down one-fourth. So, the RPMs that that reads, you multiply it by four to get how much RPMs the engine is actually spinning. So, there is basically where I'm going to put the air nozzle. It's air powered, so the air will go in there, and then come out this tube, around, and then down onto this wheel, where it will spin a little bit more, get a little bit more power. So, now I'm going to run the engine for you. Alright, so here it is. The RPMs of the actual engine is four times what it's going to say on the tachometer. All those four lines means it's over 4,000 RPMs, because that's the max this can read. So the engine's actually going over 16,000 RPM. So, and actually you see it, this fell off from the power and speed. So I'm just actually going to take this off and run it so you can hear the way it sounds better. And if you noticed from before, I took off this little wheel because this rubber bulges out from the centrifugal force. So, now you can just hear it. It sounds kind of like a real jet engine, but not really. Actually, if you ask me, that sounds kind of like a a power tool, like the air-powered drill or something, which I have. Kind of like this. So, and I don't know if you could see, but actually, it started to slow down because it melted the axle a little bit. So, that's it for this engine. Uh, I'll let you know, as in put up a video, if I add any more upgrades, make it go any faster. And I'll probably have to gear down the tack some more. Because it's so fast, it's over 16,000 RPM. So, it's pretty incredible. And I think that's the highest RPM LEGO engine on YouTube. I think I just beat the record so far because I haven't seen any above 15,000 maybe so and if you do have an engine that can go really faster leave it as a video response comment me and tell me what you think I should do with this engine so alright talk to you guys later